smoking continues to be one of the primary health problems, public health problems in the United States. And although we have made some strides in reducing the number of smokers, it's still a devastating influence on public health. And we're examining whether stigmatization actually causes stress and less interest in quitting. And that could have very important implications both for preventing people from beginning smoking in the first place or to motivate them to quit smoking. My previous research actually shows that smokers work hard on avoiding stigmatizing experiences as one could imagine that they would or anyone would. So we bring them into the lab and remind them that they in fact do belong to a stigmatized group. And then we have a variety of different methods to measure their reactions to this stigmatizing situation. So we're interested in their stress reactions and we are asking them in a survey how stressed they feel as a result of the stigmatization. But we also measure their blood pressure because research shows that people's blood pressure goes up when they feel stressed and the more stressed you feel, the longer it takes for it to go back to normal. We're also measuring their cognitive depletion and that's a fancy way of saying that when you're feeling stressed, it's hard to attend to other tasks that requires a lot of thought effort. The third thing we are measuring is we're actually interested in whether the stigmatization will change how much they smoke. And we do, of course, ask them how much they smoke, but we're actually interested specifically in their changes to their smoking in the laboratory. And we have a special device that's called a smoking topography device that measures how hard they draw on the cigarette and how many puffs they take and how great the intensity of the puffs are.